Sup, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for your love, your support. Let's get started on a read for you. Let's pull some cards. Uh, yes, you are a messenger. Yes, you do rule uh, Mercury. Let's see, uh, Gemini. Someone rising, Venus in the North Node. So the Three of Wands. So orchestration here, or I feel like this could be something coming in towards you. I'm also getting, uh, there could be something about overseas or over a body of water or I feel like just at a distance. Let's see, more for Gemini. Okay, so you have the Nine of Pentacles followed by the Six of Cups. So this could be some type of connection uh, that you have to Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy or I feel like something about tethering or a connection. Uh, you could be connecting to someone who's independent. You could be uh, wondering if someone's independent. I feel like they are. I'm also getting uh, something about a revelation here. It could be uh, when it comes to siblings or when it comes to a connection. Something about a connection in particular. I feel like you're um, independent from a sibling or there could be revelation of this. I think I said that already. Or I feel like um, something about confusion as well. Someone could be confused or there could be um, someone from the past trying to reconnect. That's what I'm seeing. Let's see. You have the six of swords in the reverse. So I feel like there's no protection or there's no security or I feel like there's no um, moving on to calmer waters with this person, uh, Gemini. I feel like someone with the six of swords in the reverse, someone, what is that? What is that for Gemini? The nine of cups. So this could be a wish of yours that someone, uh, they don't move forward or someone's not victorious or someone um i feel like this could be more so you if not someone gemini excuse me i feel like this could be you here um you're comfortable with whatever circumstance this may be with the six of swords reverse what is that for gemini the page of cups and the fool so something about an offer or i feel like something about being spiritually corrupt or i feel like this could be a, a love offer from someone this could be someone that you uh, view to have taken a new beginning or someone that you view to be a fool or i feel like someone wants to offer you some type of divine comfort with the nine of cups and the page of cups i feel like this is your wish gemini i also get a page of swords energy demonstration or getting more information on a topic or someone who's making you an offer i feel like someone wants to offer you a cup of love or something about a quick fix is what i'm picking up on here let's see the nine of swords so anxiety and worry could be surrounding this or i feel like someone's more so worried about when if they could say something to you i feel like someone wants to know more so uh, gemini if you're going to throw a fit or this could be like bitch to them or i feel like you're wondering if someone is going to bitch to you what is the nine of swords for gemini the Knight of Pentacles, so praiseworthy energy or something about motive here. I'm also getting the proof of a situation or proof of someone's independence. I also get uh, someone wants to say something to you. Could be after a time of you guarding your mental troubles or you guarding your mental capacity. I see you doing this with the Nine of Pentacles. Something you're working on uh, independently could be very challenging as far as exchanging goes. I feel like constant praise. This could be the reason because of these people, they actually praise you. Let's see, more for Gemini. Okay, you have three falling out here. So you have the King of Swords, Judgment, and the High Priestess. So I see you using your higher intelligence when it comes to a form of identification. I'm also getting, uh, Gemini, something you know intuitively about a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. For many of you, I feel like you could be dealing with your sign, a Gemini, or there could be something going on surrounding the judgment of this person. I'm also getting, um, you could be doing something very diplomatically, or I feel like you could be doing something surrounding law. I feel like you're holding someone up. The Hierophant and the Five of Pentacles could be a Taurus. I feel like you're holding this person up, or there could be uh, some type of disgrace, some type of shit show or disgrace or I feel like someone's been disgraced by God or I feel like someone's been left out in the cold when it comes to some type of commitment. I feel like this is straight betrayal. Straight betrayal here with the seven of wands. This could be something expected or something that's very, very guarded. With the uh, four of wands, this could be relationship. 
I see you protecting yourself from a relationship or I see many of you getting out of a relationship that could have been hind like hindering you or what is the three of swords for Gemini? Okay, you have the temperance. So I feel like there could be betrayal surrounding Sagittarius energy or I feel like the delivery of something was just all wrong. Ace of Wands reverse and you have the Ace of Swords followed by the Nine of Wands. The delivery of a topic was just wrong or I feel like there could be truth and clarity surrounding someone taking a very, very bold move with the Ace of Wands reverse. I feel like something about windows or challenging uh, situations here or fight. I feel like someone knows the truth surrounding relationships or soulmate energy or this could be lovers, could be dealing with another Gemini uh, like yourself or I feel like this is something contractual or something uh, was on pen and paper or you received intel about something, uh, some type of underhanded move with the Nine of Wands. Let's see, Ace of Wands, Nine of Wands, what is that for Gemini? The Justice card. So you could be dealing with the Libra or there's truth and clarity when it comes to a situation in a Libra. The Two of Wands reverse. I see you moving in a new direction when it comes to the truth of something. Could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio or a Virgo. I feel like some someone's constantly on display or Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio is hiding something. I'm also getting introspection when it comes to Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio or in Aquarius. With the King of Pentacles, I feel like someone put something on display. I'm hearing that song, on display, each and every day, every day, every day. Something about being on display, or I feel like someone, it's like they're shoving something in your face almost. Let's see, more for Gemini. The Eight of Wands. So some type of communication here, Gemini. I see incoming communication. Once you take a different route, or once there's some type of move in your direction, I see some type of communication. Or I feel like once someone chooses their best option or once someone finds the truth about a situation, Empress energy, you got the Emperor card. I feel like the truth of a situation is that someone here views you to be an option or they view someone else to be an option. What is this? Okay, you have the King of Wands. King of Wands. So it could be Sagittarius or Aries. I feel like this person has a lot of empathy for you as far as some type of teaching goes, Gemini. This is what I'm seeing. Queen of Wands, and you have the Ace of Pentacles. There could be a blessing or a clean slate, or I feel like someone's getting paid under the table or something like that here, Gemini. This is what I'm getting. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe. Check my description where you guys can book a personal or my info box. And uh, Gemini, I do hope this serves you well. Take care.